Do you experience frequent pain around your stomach area or heartburn? And your doctor prescribed you pantoprazole, also called Protonix, then this video is meant for you. We will cover how and when to use it, what are possible side effects, what are the correct dosages to use, and much, much more. So make sure to watch the whole video so you don't miss any important information. For those of you meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul. I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands. I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself, as well as you, my viewers, because I believe that medically educated people make healthier decisions, which is the whole point of this channel and this video. This video also comes with a quick disclaimer. It's meant purely informative. This is not medical advice. And when looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor. Now quickly, let's get started. So as mentioned, the generic name of this medication is called Pantoprazole, and it's sold under the brand name Protonix, and it's available as a tablet and as an injection. If you want to use it as a tablet, make sure to swallow it whole with half a glass of water. Do not break the tablet, do not bite on it, do not chew on it, because it's covered in a protective film. If you break this film, it will decrease the effectivity of the tablet, so beware. If pantoprazole is prescribed as an injection, do not worry. Your doctor or your nurse will place the injection. You do not need to do this yourself. In addition, it's also important to mention that if you're taking pantoprazole, you can do so at any time, but it can be helpful to take fixed times. This will make you less likely to forget a dose. Pantoprazole is part of a group of drugs called proton pump inhibitors. These selectively inhibit the acid production of your stomach. And therefore, pantoprazole can be used to treat a heartburn, also called GERD disease, an inflammation of your gullet, or esophagus, an ulcer in your stomach or intestines, or an infection with the H. pylori bacteria. Which brings us to the correct dosages to use. And here I want to mention that I can only provide you with certain guidelines. Always use the prescribed amount of frequency your doctor gave you, because this can differ depending on your indication of use, your symptoms, your side effects, and much, much more. However, when treating GERD, your doctor might prescribe a dose of 40 milligrams once per day for four to eight weeks. If necessary, this dose can be further increased up to a dose of 40 milligrams two times per day. For the treatment of an ulcer in your stomach or intestines, your doctor might prescribe the same dose of 40 milligrams once per day for four to eight weeks, which again can be increased to a dose of 40 milligrams two times per day if necessary. When treating an H. pylori infection, your doctor might prescribe you 40 milligrams two times a day for one to two weeks in combination with several antibiotics. Now, pantoprazole is a very effective drug, but unfortunately, it also can cause serious side effects. I will cover some of the most common ones in this video, but if you're looking for a complete list, ask your doctor, your pharmacist, or check your leaflet. Commonly, it might cause gastric polyps. Uncommonly, it can cause sleep disturbances, a headache, dizziness, diarrhea, nausea, fatigue, or fractures. Rarely, it can cause a hypersensitivity reaction, weight changes, depression, taste disorder, an elevated body temperature. Very rarely, it can cause several changes in your blood values. Which brings us to the safety of use. First of all, be careful to combine pantoprazole with alcohol, as this might increase its side effects. Furthermore, pantoprazole can cause or lead to dizziness or a blurry vision. If you experience this, then please do not drive, as this can be dangerous. And lastly, pantoprazole can have interactions with the other drugs you're taking, Always be careful when combining both and probably discuss this with your personal doctor. The same is true for usage when you're pregnant or when you're breastfeeding. Pantoprazole seems to be safe in both cases. However, there are some exceptions. Always discuss these with your personal doctor. Now, I hope you know now how to use pantoprazole, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Because again, educated people make healthier decisions, so keep on learning. If you did enjoy the video, it would greatly help the channel if you click that like button and maybe subscribe for more awesome weekly medical videos. Thank you for watching. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters. Thank you, Sebastian, who's an investor to your supporter. And for those of you that can't get enough, I also have an Instagram account at How to Medicate. Check it out. And I will see you next week with a new awesome video. Bye bye.